right off the bat, I just want to say that most of my videos are on script, so if I feel a little weird and just not comfortable on camera, not only because it's a serious topic, but because I'm just off script right now. I just want to get to the important stuff fast and just explain what's in the title. It's not clickbait or anything. It's an actual problem that I, I hope to get out there. I would be remiss if I didn't come across this and actually put it out there. So a while back, I was looking for a video idea, and usually I'll make fun of things like some different challenges that are trending right now. So I looked up challenges on YouTube, and I went on live because I wanted the most recent type of things. And I came across this live stream that I think was called, like, Tell Me What Challenge to Do. And it was this kid, probably, like, 10 years old, who was just saying, Hey, viewers, tell me what challenge to do. And immediately you go to the chat, and you see that this one dude, the only person there, was commenting some things that were obviously predatory. I be if I remember correctly, I believe the challenge was something like a ballerina challenge. He said to put the camera on the floor and press your toes on the ground and like bend them a certain way. And it was very, very clearly predatory, just foot fetish type nature, obviously pedophile. So immediately I try and report this guy. I try to tell the person to stop the live stream, report the live stream, do anything. And for a while it, they were very confused, but finally they stopped it. And while it was bad, I didn't think too much of it. I said, I came across this, I reported the person, I stopped the live stream, good, good and dandy. But recently doing the same kind of thing, I got curious as to how easy it was to find these pedophiles on YouTube. And I, when I went on there just like half an hour ago, it was extremely shocking and disturbing. And I just wanted to make this video to put it out there and show you guys some of the things I found. Obviously, I'm going to be blurring the, the people, and I didn't come across anything that was actually, like, illegal, but just the comments you'll see are just, just disgusting. So this, just like before, because a lot of the challenges had to do with slime, I looked up slime and just did live. Now, normally I'd say, well, why would I tell people that this is how you find a lot of children live? But I have to believe that if more people know where I'm finding these, it, they'll be likely to, you know, get out there and have more people report them and have these streams just uh, deleted. So the first one, just this little girl, probably 10 years old, making a slime video. A person named Maya Da is telling her to take off the sweater. When I was watching, she said that she doesn't have anything under the sweater, so she wouldn't do that. And in reply, they said, uh, then unzip her the sweater all the way down then. Uh, they immediately retract their messages, but then still message on, saying, come on, unzipper your sweater. And then this other person comes in, Moondog, saying exactly what I found last time. Saying, oh, there's a challenge, a toe wiggle challenge. Sit on the floor with feet in front of camera, socks off, and wiggle toes for two minutes without cramping. I'll like and subscribe if you do it, because obviously kids want likes and subscribe, so it's basically saying, I'm going to give you something if you do this innocent challenge, but we all know that it is not innocent. I said upon seeing this, both of you guys have been reported, get off the live stream, please stop live streaming, and reported her live stream, and to which Moondog replied, wouldn't be the first time, so very clearly, I don't, I don't know how these channels stay up, I don't know, it's just a problem. Next one, another slime video, first one by Brandon, can you put the camera on the floor? I see that a lot for just anything to do with foot fetish. Another one, pose the camera on the floor, please. Even worse, this Mary Green character I saw in a lot of different ones, they said, Dare you to roll the top of your pants down as far as you can. You have to roll them close to the camera, thanks. They said it again after retracting their messages. Uh, said, dare you to stand up close to the camera and roll your pants down. I said that they've been reported. They also said to redo the first challenge in just their panties. This branding person was back at a different one saying, I'll subscribe, just wear the dress. It looks better with no pants. Obviously, just really fucked up shit. More foot fetish challenges on this one. And this live stream was one that got just really disgusting. And it was bad because as much as I was reporting them and reporting the stream and trying to tell her to like stop live streaming these people are not good people, uh, she made it a point to say that, uh, why would I listen to you? Why do I trust you and not them? They've been supporting me. They've said they subscribed, so why wouldn't I listen to them? I got in there late and they were clearly like together, Patrick Macy and Tiffany Reed saying, put the camera on the floor, lift a water bottle with your feet 10 times, do it backwards to on your knees. What was really disgusting too is that Tiffany mentioned in the middle of it, no, this is too easy, haha. So clearly they're, they're just like talking to each other saying that this is really easy to do. Dare you to paint your nails, but start with the toes. I don't actually know about this Julia person. I don't think they posted anything previous, but they said, eh, I finished. 
by Kissy Face. And I mean, I don't like to think about that, but I have to assume that that's, yeah, you get it. Just not okay. Mary Green came back and said, let's spit drip off your tongue. Once again, I was saying, like, just these are not good people. Tell your mother the kind of challenges they're, they're ch telling you to do. She will tell you that these are bad people. Uh, and then when she questioned, like, why should I listen to you? Another person said, who are you, Pataclysm? Why should you trust you and, and none of us? And thankfully, I actually stayed in there after reporting them to the point where it did get taken down by YouTube. And this was just in a period of about a half hour to an hour. And it's just... It's so easy to find these kind of things, and it, at least I'm thankful that YouTube is quick to respond when the live streams are reported to get taken down, but just the fact that they're so easy to find with these kids live streaming makes me think that it's not going to be just okay to have someone report them and then they're going to be taken down fast enough. And as much as I believe that small YouTubers, even if they just started out, should be able to live stream, I think that even if there's one, like, one thing that gets slipped through where something like this happens and it goes farther than than someone actually finding it and reporting it then i don't think it should be allowed maybe there should be some kind of cap limit to once you have a certain amount of subscribers or views or something that's when you get to live stream because then you'll at least have a following that will join in your live streams but i know it's it's bad to say because it takes away a lot of rights of good people who just like streaming but i i just don't think it should be a thing anymore Pedophiles on YouTube aren't really a new thing, but most of the time it's focused on videos and uh, just uninteractive type of things, and those channels get deleted. But I don't, I haven't seen anyone talk about live streaming and how kids easily live stream and can get tricked by some people. So I'm hoping that I can signal boost this, uh, try and get like the word out there, send it to people who might take interest in it. Like I know Philip DeFranco is very much against pedophilia on YouTube. I mean who isn't obviously, but he took a strong stance against it before. Uh, so I'm going to send it out there. I just I didn't want to have this slip by and not make a video on it. So I, that's really all I needed to say. And I hope that YouTube addresses it in some form. Maybe someone can, you know, put it out there more. And that's really all I had to say. So see ya.